Hey everybody, welcome to the Rich State of Mind YouTube channel. Please subscribe, smash that like button for this video, and also hit that bell to get notified for any of the videos that we put out in the future. So in this video, I want to talk about teaching your young kids about money, all right, and the value of a dollar. So when we grow, when we were growing up, um, a lot of times, uh, especially for us as, you know, let's just say 90s, 80s kids and above, uh, our parents were very transparent with money and their finances. You didn't even know how much your parents made. Uh, you may see other kids maybe had a little bit more than you, but for the most part, you didn't really know, you know, how much money was coming in, how much was really going out. So one thing you could do uh, with still keeping your kids out of your business, right? They'll not know how much you actually make. Uh, you can still teach them about the value of a dollar. So one thing that I do with my son, he's eight years old. I have him do little chores around the house or maybe help me do some administrative work in my office. And then I give them a dollar. So with that dollar, uh, I say, hey, or let's just say I make it two dollars so I can make them split it, you know, half. So uh, I have envelopes that uh, have specific purposes for him. So one envelope, I have a little envelope like this will say spending one. And then the other one will say saving and the other one will say giving. So each time uh, he does a task and that I give him a dollar or maybe two or three dollars, you know, we rotate. So the first thing we do is save. And then the uh, next thing we do is give. And then the last thing we do is spending. Now, the reason why I put spending as last is because I want to get in the concept of him saving and giving uh, first before he spends on himself, just to give him an idea of servitude. And then also the mindset of as a man, his responsibilities when he grows up and ends up being uh, the head of his household, right? He's going to be saving. He's going to be giving back to his family. And then whatever he has left over, he will use for extra for extra uh, items, get that selfishness out of him and make sure he is uh, thinking about those two things first. Uh, so with that, he, he fit, he's learning that he has to earn whatever money he makes, like money just doesn't fall out, you know, out of a tree um, or you know, fall from the sky, or whatever like that. He understands I gotta do something in order to make money. Uh, so that, con that basic concept is solidified at a young age. Then he understands that OK, when I first things that I do with my money, I need to not think about what's the first thing I could spend it on. I need to be thinking about how can I give back and how can I save? And then I'll worry about spending after that. And so you teach your child easily that, hey, money is a tool. It's nothing to be a, a obsess, of, uh, obsess over and it's uh, nothing to think, oh, man, as soon as I get it, I need to be able to just blow it back into society. I need to, when I earn it, I need to hold tight to it and figure out the best way to use it. Um, so if you want to teach your kids early concepts of money, you know, obviously without breaking the bank, uh, give them that opportunity to earn, uh, you know, a dollar, 50 cents, whatever was, you know, was in your budget. It could be the spare change after you went to the store in order for them to learn the value of a dollar, understand the small concepts of um, earning money. I have to do things to earn it. And then knowing the proper order of what they need to do with their money when they get it. Uh, so please, uh, if you have any questions or anything else to add, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to like and hit that bell. Thank you.